You can earn a fortune as a woodworker. Step one, grab a board. Step two, micro jig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. I think I can build this whole project using scrap lumber from my bin. And they're all different kinds. I've got walnut and birch and maple and poplar. <laughs> but it, it doesn't really matter what this looks like because it's a shop project. I'm the only one who's gonna see it. Well, besides you, of course. <laughs> With my table saw blade set to a 45 degree angle, I can start to frame out the sides. Now I can straighten out my blade and rip these to their final width. It's just a matter of following my plans to make all of the different grooves that everything fits together in. I'll try to make all of these cuts using a dado stack on my table saw. You could also use a router to make all of these grooves. I have a feeling this will be one of the most tedious parts of the project, but if I take careful measurements and take my time, I should be okay. This first set of grooves is gonna hold the upper tray, the base, and I'll cut this off and this part will become the lid. My plans call for cutting slots in both the short ends and the long sides, but the more I think about it, the more difficult I think that's going to be to get that grid lined up. So what I'm gonna do is cut slots on just the short ends. And I'll glue these pieces together. With that one all dry, I'll glue up the top. I'm cutting these thin strips to frame out the upper tray. I'm cutting the miter joints using my miter sled. For the upper tray, I decided not to cut the grooves into the sides of the frame. It just seemed like a lot more work than was necessary, and once I make the grid, I could just glue it right on in. I'm cutting down eighth inch plywood for the base of the tray. I'm putting less weight on this piece because that eighth inch plywood is so thin, I'm afraid if I use that brick on it, it'll just sag. To cut the slots in these strips for the grid work, I've got a backer board and a stop block set up, and I'm gonna clamp these together, and I can cut them at the same time. These will slide into these slots. Now I can cut the short dividers. I only have to make two slots in each of these, and I've got a couple extra in case I screw anything up. I think this lower grid will stay in place without any glue, but I'm gonna put a dab on anyway. Now for a bunch of slots on these thin strips. And again, my plans had slots in these sides that would probably keep these a little bit straighter. Don't think I'm gonna get all these dividers even, but it doesn't really matter that much. Now I can finally throw away all these old boxes that came with those router bits. And I want to thank you for watching Woodworking for Mere Mortals. If you're new to this channel, please take a moment to subscribe. I have brand new woodworking videos every Friday. Oh hey, I wanted to remind you to check out the wood shop Hey, if you haven't been there in a while, we're always adding new designs, including some of these that you're seeing right here. We've got over 40 designs and all sorts of t-shirts. So check it out and maybe you'll find something for yourself or for a friend or an enemy. <laughs> Thanks everybody, have a great week. Go out and make something and I'll see you next Friday. I'm a Mimo from Quebec, Canada.
Step three, profit. 